Uh, hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We're here at Tallis Stadium. I'm joined by Ireland Under 21 manager Stephen Kenny. Firstly, Stephen, thanks for taking the time to have a chat with us. Um, you must you must be really excited at the moment. You know, three wins from three. Uh, big game against Italy tomorrow. But uh, how are you fixed going into it? Yeah, we're in good shape. I think you know. I think um, obviously I was fortunate this year that that we were able to get you know such a, such an amount of games, eight games to date. Brilliant uh, to get that. You know, we'll have twelve in a calendar year, which is unprecedented for the under twenty one. So um, absolutely fantastic to get that time, and the, I think the players are formulating into a, into a team. Really, the nature of international football with injuries and <laughs> promotions to the senior yeah. squad uh, means that the team evolves and the squad evolves but um, delighted really for us um, to be playing Italy here um, tomorrow night in the qualifier sold out as well with a sold out which is was really our ambition at the start of the year when we met for our first match against Luxembourg we said you know we want a good crowd for Luxembourg which we had, that was a record crowd and we knew Armenia uh, we knew we had a good window against uh, Armenia and Sweden that we could we could sell it out. We wanted to, didn't think we'd sell it out three weeks in advance. But um, I hope they, I hope all the tickets are utilised now. You yeah, know, of I course, hope all the uh, seats are taken. Um, and I think um, because there is demand, and you know, you want want every seat to be filled, um, and uh, that's just brilliant for everyone. Everyone's delighted with that. Players are delighted, all the staff are delighted, and that will be a unique, pretty unique occasion for an under-21 game to be sold out against Italy, who are, you know, a brilliant team. Yeah, we actually, from, from the out, outside looking in, sorry, we I think we have a brilliant team as well, and you've been in the job less than a year now, and you've done a fantastic job just with the Toulon tournament, and now we've, we've won the three games out of three. Um, but just how excited are you about, about this bunch of players that you've inherited? Um, yes, because we, what, what, we, what we've tried to do, we've made a conscious decision really, it was 1998 age group, not to just promote the whole 1998 age group into the under-21s. We've gone, we looked at the broader picture for the future, you know, the future of Irish football and said, listen, can we get the best, like with 1998s, 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002s, Troy Parrott and Gavin Bazunu, for example, are 2002s. Jason Knight and Nathan Collins and Adam Ida and all those players, 1000 and once. So even the year 2000s, the, the, all the players that are born in the year 2000 can play in the next under 21 European Championships, in, 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 uh, you know, which, which could indeed be in Ireland. You know. yeah. um, so it's, uh, it's the best, you know, we've picked sort of the players with the most potential over the five years, that five year age group. So these players are not players that have played with each other. Because in some of the, the five, five years in the difference, you know, in terms of um, 98 to t or four years from 98 to 2002, and um, you know, so they've not been in international teams with each other before, before this year. So some of the players have obviously, and some haven't. So great work been done by all the international managers. Uh, you know, Tom Moan, Colin O'Brien, Andy Reid, and Jim Crawford was there for, for a number of years, and Paul Ozam and and Jason O'Donoghue and um, and you, you seem to be working in tangent there as well because well, I noticed you were involved yeah. kind of in the under 17 tournament as well um, helping out bits as well and well, kind of being there and uh, you know not, not really Colin is the manager and Tom is the manager in the 19s but it's great to attend the tournaments in Armenia for the under 19 it's great to see it at close quarters we do doctor obviously the technical director and I suppose his vision really um, for, for all of that to for the, it all to be connected and um you know, you see it at Abbottstown and then when a couple of months ago we done the 17 and training on one pitch beside the under 21 training and the first team training. I've not always had that at, with Ireland, you know, you have separate training grounds, separate parts of the country and it's great to have that sort of uniformity of sort of and a sense of identity, identity really, you know, so these things are important, um, these things are important. Absolutely, well um, I don't want to keep you too, much, too longer, mm. um, I want to say thanks very much for your time. Hopefully, uh, sold out packed stadium here at Tallis Stadium tomorrow. Best of luck, and hopefully, we get the win. Thank you very much. Yeah, Steve. it'd be brilliant to get it because we've had tremendous support. And I know people, six of our games have been away from home. 
five in Toulon and the match in Sweden, people have been getting it, or they're watching it through streams or to wear sport. And I think um, it's great to, you know, great for our home supporters to see the players in the flesh. And obviously, a lot of a lot of um, a lot of people connecting to Troy Parrott and Adam Ida and uh, Jonathan Afalavi, Michael Obafemi and Jason Malumbi and all of these players, attacking players, uh, you know, really, really, really looking to uh, connect with them and, and, and see how they kind of run on the course. He's been very, very good for us, you know, and he's back in. And Dan, Dan, Dan O'Mandrew, who was, uh, was terrific in the last game. So these are all good things. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Stephen, thank you very much, OK? Thank you.